today is a very nice day. I'm going to a flight school to do my first hour of flight training. This is a gift from, from my beloved fiance and it's actually very exciting. I'm, I'm very excited about this. Uh, it's going to be one of those two-seater planes. Uh, yeah, I'll probably wear a, whatever you wear when you're flying. It, I won't lie, this is very, very, very exciting. I'm here. This is an actual flight school. <laughs> Check this out. Can I do a round? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm going to show, I'm going to show you the okay. yeah. checks and stuff. Yeah. So we start off with the front of the aircraft. Yeah. First thing we're going to check is we're going to check the propeller. We're going to make sure there's no kind of nips or any sort of right. dents so, in there that's yeah. going to negatively affect the performance of it. Yeah. Which it's looking all good and nice. Yeah. Then what we do is we come round to the side here and we open this up and we're looking out at the oil. Yeah. So the oil is just in here. Uh -huh. If you want to open yeah. that up, so yeah. to the left, and then if you just pull it out, keep it away from your clothes, and then oh. if you pull it, yeah, if you pull it straight out, and then hold it straight down, so it's straight, straight down. down. So yeah, if you turn it the other way around, so we've got the full line there, uh -huh. and we've got the empty line here, we've got the halfway line here. Yeah. So we've got sufficient amount of uh, oil in yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. So we can that can go then back in. Okay. All good. And then what we also look What's is... What's that? Is it choke or...? No, no, so this okay. is a fuel strainer. So if you All look right. at this uh, little tube here. Yeah. So if I pull it... Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's fuel. Okay. So... And is it kerosene so, or, or...? No, it's it? called Avgas. Avgas. So yeah, it's... Um, it's like a petroleum kind of thing. Okay, so. yeah, yeah. Then what we're looking at is what we call the main body of the aircraft. It's yeah. called the fuselage. Fuselage, yeah. So we look at the fuselage and we check yeah. to see if that's in good condition as well. Yeah. We visually check, check if it, to see if there's any kind of any of these bolts that are missing. Yeah. Anything that's going to again affect the performance of the flight. Yeah. Come to what's called. So this is the wing. So yeah. this is this front side of the wing is called the leading edge. Is this the front of it? Yeah, yeah. So we look at the leading edge. Make sure of dent, no dents or anything, and any of these kind of bolts or anything, there's nothing missing from here. Yeah. Come back, and this is called the trailing edge. Trailing edge, thing. yeah. These things here are called the ailerons. Uh -huh. So if you want to hold on to the aileron just from there, yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to push it all the way up. Yeah. And if you look inside the cockpit, if you push it up, uh, it just comes to the right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you do it to the left. Uh -huh. That moves it down Wicked. to the left. Yeah. So that's the up and down. Yeah. And what we're checking for this is we're checking full and free movement. So we're checking to see that it's not stopping it's not anywhere. Stuck. Yeah, so yeah. we've got that full movement if we need to be able to move yeah. it that much. Yeah. These are called flaps. So these are fixed, so you can't move them unless it's uh, the electrics are on and they're electrically operated. These are used for landing. Stopping the plane. Or, yeah. So yeah, they, these actually help to kind of 
bring us down to a lower speed without mm -hmm. stalling the aircraft. So mm -hmm. these can actually give us greater or lift. Or drag, or yeah, yeah. Drag yeah, yeah. and lift, actually, yeah, 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 yeah so you're yeah. right. Yeah. So it gives us extra drag, but it also gives us the extra lift, mm -hmm. which means that we can fly at a slower speed for when coming into land. Obviously, mm -hmm. we don't want to land at a very fast speed. Yeah, um, then, Because yeah. obviously, these, uh, this is not made for it. Mm -hmm. Again, we're checking, this is all still the fuselage, because this is all the body of the aircraft. Yeah. Now this is the elevator. So, the elevator here, so if you put your hand there, yeah. so keep it away from the edges, you don't want yeah. to get your fingers trapped. If you pull that all the way up, keep pulling it all the way up, look inside the cockpit, uh -huh, they that's come moving to towards okay, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you pull it all the way down, it goes in. That's okay. moving away from you. Okay. So again, you're just checking for full and free movement, making yeah. sure we can't hear any kind of clicks or if it doesn't jam anywhere. Yeah. This is called the rudder. So this is the big tail plane. The turning. So thing. this moves left and right. Yeah. And this is controlled with the rudder pedals. So you'll have pedals by your feet, one left and one right. So this will turn the rudder left and right. And we're just checking to see full and free movement. Again, if you like to move this up and down, yeah. and just look inside the cockpit, make sure we have got the right movement. Yeah. What we need is when you pull it up, that it comes towards you, and when yeah. it goes down, it moves it away from you. And is this hydraulic or is it? Uh, what, no, like so these are based? by pulleys. Okay. So yeah, pulleys yeah. operate this. Yeah. The things that are hydraulic would be the flaps. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so those are the hydraulics. Left the door open. Again, just look at these ailerons. So, if you pull it all the way down or all the way up, yeah. So, if uh -huh. you pull it all the way up on this side, if you look at that side, yeah, it, so if it you goes go, in it tandem, goes the opposite right? Direction. Yeah, yeah. So, this affects the airflow over this. Yeah. So, obviously, uh -huh. when this goes all the way up, so it's a turn to the left, yeah. This means that this wing will basically drop down because there's greater drag over here this wing and, here. Okay. And there's greater lift on that wing, which yeah. wants that wing to kind of lift up which gives us that what we call a rolling movement. Okay. And when you steer, does that, does this motion, do is this, is this linked to the rudder in somehow? No, or the no? rudders are controlled just by the pedals. Just the pedals, okay. The pedals by your okay. feet. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's what we call a control column. Yeah. Um, that controls these ailerons and it controls the elevator. Mm -hmm. So that allows the movement of pitching, what's yeah. called pitching, up yeah. and down like yeah. this. And these ailerons are control the, the roll. The roll. Yeah. The rudder controls what we call the yaw. The yaw. Yeah. So yaw is the nose movement. So imagine yeah. looking straight on. Yeah. Your movement left and right. Yeah. Notice how the roll is like this, yeah. whereas the yaw is like. And if this. you want to go left, right, you have to do these things in the same time, right? The, the yes, you do. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, you do. But you don't want to apply too much. Too much. But then... for today, obviously, because we're not doing like turning because that's a whole yeah, exercise yeah. in itself yeah we're just going to be using just the what we call the ailerons the, just yeah. to roll us left and right today, yeah yeah whichever direction we kind of want to go coming around to the front and we're checking this is all clear which it is we look at the tire can you see the red marks yeah so you see the red mark there yeah that's called a creep check what that does is it checks, you want to make sure that the red line on the actual rubber tyre itself is in line with the metal rim. What that makes sure is that the tyre, the rubber tyre, has not moved around the metal rim. When you brake or something, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise you wouldn't get that correct stopping distance. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure those two align there. Yeah. And you're also checking to see whether you've got sufficient enough tyre pressure in there, whether it's not looking too flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or anything like that. yeah. So on all of the tyres, you've actually got a creep check, apart from the front one for some reason. Um, yeah. We've also got one on here. Well, did you see that one? The that red, one's yeah, yeah. nice and aligned there. Yeah. So, arguably one of the most important checks is the fuel. Yeah. So the fuel tanks in here, it's got two fuel tanks. Yeah. We'll check on the right hand side first. The fuel tanks are actually inside the wings. So if I move, you'll be able to hear. Yeah, uh, you can you, hear the fuel. You can hear the fuel kind of move through. A little, a little bit, bit, a little, little bit, bit, yeah. yeah. Your okay. tanks are at the top now. So this acts a little bit like a straw. So what I do is I drop this. Uh, and then you put a finger on top, right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Put 
the finger on top. Let's see how much you got. Okay. And that's where I can tell. So at the moment, I've got five and a half. These are in US gallons. Okay. One US gallon is equal to 3.785 okay. liters. Yeah, yeah. So I've got about, f I'd say five and a half US gallons. On this one? On this side of the Okay. Wing. So on this tank. Like I said, there's two tanks. Yeah. And what I like to do is I just like check to twice. Check twice. Yeah, yeah. Two, three times maybe. And yeah, five and a half is what I've got on this side. And what's the, well, is it called mileage on, on these? So, so the fuel burn? Yeah. So yeah, the fuel burn on these is six US gallons per hour. Six, okay. Six US gallons per hour. We're okay. going up for half an hour. Yeah. So we're going to be burning about three US gallons. Three US, US gallons, okay. And then we've got this side here. So again, I'll put this straight down. Four, right? Four. four. Four US gallons? Yeah. So we had, what was it, five and a half in the other one? Five and a half, yeah. So four in this one, we've got nine and a half? Nine and a half, yeah. So if we're using six US gallons per hour, how long have we got in these tanks? An hour and a half, I'll say. An hour About an hour and a half, yeah. Yeah. We would also have something called unusable fuel in these. So there's about two US gallons, i.e. one US gallon either side, which is unusable. Like reserve? So or? no, so even though the fuel is in there, yeah. the tanks are designed in such a way that the, that one US gallon either side can't be used because of the design of the wing. All oh, right. So if we're minusing the two away from that nine and a half, See, we we've got, got seven, seven and a half. So we got one hour of. We okay. got one. We got one hour, just over an hour okay. essentially. Okay. We're doing a half an hour flight. Yeah. So we've still got essentially half an hour left, just in case, in our reserves. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's those checks and now we're going to check the electricals which say you're an electrical engineer yeah. <laughs> do i go on the other side or uh, no i'm just gonna, okay. gonna check them on the outside so i'm just gonna yeah. turn what we call the master switch on yeah the master switch is all the electrics This is responsible for the instruments inside, so the airspeed indicator. Oh, okay. What happens here is the air enters through this, this tiny tube yeah. and it measures the kind of pressure difference in there and it gives us a, so it works out the difference between the, uh, the static pressure and the dynamic pressure. What so does that is, mean? That so the static pressure is like, like a now. still pressure, yeah, okay. so it's like kind of in still air. Yeah. And then what we want, so this actually measures a total pressure. So this is like the total air entering through. Yeah. And the static pressure is measured from the side vent, which I think is on These? the other side. No, no, oh, it's no. Oh, this little hole here. Okay. So this is the static vent here. So that measures the static, so it gives us a airspeed reading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I'm checking here is that this should be warming up, which Yeah. And that has got a heater on it, so it stops it from, you know, any ice sort of building. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, that so makes sense. Heater, so we'll check that in just a second. Yeah. This light here, it's called a navigation light. There's three of them. One on this wing, one on the other wing, and one on the back. The left-hand wing is also known as the port. So port side, like the ships. Like okay. the ships, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the port side, and that's going to have a red light. Yeah. That light at the top is called a beacon, so... It's an anti-collision beacon. Mm -hmm. So we turn that on whenever kind of the engine is about to be active or when the engine is active. Okay. That alerts people that I'm about to start the engine or the engine okay. is live. So please yeah. stay away from us. Yeah, yeah. This is that other navigation light I was telling you about. Okay. Let's see. So this is called the starboard side. And that's green, okay. And that's green. Yeah, yeah. That way you know, if you're seeing someone, say for example if you're flying at night, 
Yeah. You see like a green side coming from in front you of you. You know that's you this side of the plane. Side. Okay. So that stops any ice build up. Mm -hmm. So that's the external checks all done. If you want to get yourself in the aircraft, yeah. we'll start the internal checks. Okay, so is that it? It's closed. I see yeah, if it's just yeah. giving it if you like give a little push with your with your elbow, that's it. Okay. And these are the pedals. Those are the rudder pedals as well. Okay. okay. So you can adjust your seat. You'll have a lever on, I think, your left hand side. One yeah. lever. Yeah. And you use this kind of to pull uh -huh. yourself forward. And I'm not sure it. how it's supposed to be. Like, so. Can I press them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you want to try and move your seat in such a way that you can kind of push it all the way down. All the way, yeah. 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 And you're able to feel when it stops as well. And that's yeah. all the way. Yeah. And you want to make sure that your knees aren't going to bash your controls as well. Yeah, so, yeah. Right here. Uh -huh. And your knees aren't going to bash the controls there. Yeah. Your seatbelt, so you'll have a seatbelt strap, which will be on the other side. I think it's... Where is it? Behind the seat? Uh, this one? No, no, Does no, it connect no. to this one? one? That is a, uh, that's part of it, yeah? That's one. So it's just here. It should be, oh, okay. So Thank this is you. just like an airline seatbelt. So yeah. If you strap, if you first uh, leave the shoulder one. Okay. If you untwist this, so it's like this. Yeah. And hold that, and then your clip here. And then clip it in this. Is there? And if you get okay. your shoulder strap, put shoulder it over your strap. left shoulder. Yeah. And if you clip this in, to just this bit here. Ah, right, okay. And, and then you can adjust this, right? it, yeah. You don't want to have it too tight, so you don't yeah. want to be able to restrict movement completely. Like that? So it might be a little bit too tight. Too tight, Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, because you don't want to completely restrict yourself. Yeah. So I'm just going to get okay. myself in. Man, this is so cool. Yeah. This is the kind of stuff you see only in movies, you know? Yeah. So far. You're living a movie now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that like an air vent or what is this? Uh, no, this is for the flaps, so it gives us an indication of how far down the kind of flaps are. Ah. So someone has taken the checklist out of here. And this is, what is this? It's like a horn? No, no, no. So this is to talk to the tower. Ah, uh, okay. So we press that to talk to the tower. Someone has taken a checklist out of here, but I've got one in my bag. I'm just going to rush back. Okay. If you make yourself nice and comfortable in here. Yeah. I'll be back in just a second. Plane. This is in a plane. I'm in a plane. This is so crazy. This is crazy. So what's like a fail-safe thing? Let's say if, if anything goes wrong with the engine or stuff. That it? That's it? That's it, but we That's do okay. but the aircraft can glide without an ah, engine. Right, okay. So it's yeah, not like yeah. it's just gonna drop out the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can essentially glide out the sky. And we can if we're obviously away from like an airport, <coughs> we can pick a field to land just in. Just land on a, okay. So pick a nice field to land in. And do you have to talk to air traffic control and say- Yes, we have to call a Mayday. Okay. So Mayday okay. is an emergency, so yeah. that's the highest level of so emergency. Emergency, yeah. 
So your headset, so... The small one goes in here. That's the one, yeah. The big one goes in here. Right. Hatches and harnesses. Okay, parking brake. Which one is the parking brake? So what you're going to do now is you're going yeah. to read out the left hand side, starting from here, yeah. and I'm going to do the actions on the right hand side, and then okay. you can kind of see what where I'm doing the yeah. actions. So seats, adjusting lock. So if you just want to hold your hold that yeah. and try and pull yourself forward, just make sure it's locked yeah, in. It's locked. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hatches and harnesses. So harnesses. So we're secure. I'll yeah. close the door in a second. Radios. So radios. yeah, radios are off. So it's just making sure these are off here. Okay. Uh, instruments, legible services, checks, readings instruments. and limits. Okay. This is a compass, so this has actually got a magnet inside it. Yeah. Whereas these are, this is a, a DI, also known as a directional indicator. These have got gyros inside them. Which one? All of these instruments have oh, okay. got gyros yeah, 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 yeah. inside yeah. them. Yeah. So they allow the aircraft or the instruments to remain upright almost. Yeah. So they don't topple. You've worked with gyros before. Uh, yeah, with gimbals on cameras and stuff. Essentially yeah. the same thing, yeah. 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 So these have all got gyros inside them. Yeah. Three, what does three mean? Does so this is all kind of like a compass, almost like a compass. So imagine you're holding a compass. Yeah. That points to 30 degrees. So yeah. zero is north, so that okay. points to the yeah, magnetic yeah. north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the three is zero, three, zero degrees. Yeah. This is our altimeter. Oh. Okay. Um, I'll tell you more about this in the sky. Okay. So that's that. So that's instruments done. Okay. Uh, tremor. Flying controls first. Flying controls. Sorry. So yeah. yeah, if you want to follow through me on the controls, so all the way back. Yeah. All the way to the left. Yeah. All the way to the right. Yeah. All the way forward. All the way to the left. Are uh, you checking both positions? Okay, okay. So we're checking all the possible positions it yeah, could yeah, be so in. Yeah, so they don't get jammed. Okay. Trimmer. Trimmer is this little wheel here, so I'm going to set that to neutral. What is that? Like a acceleration or? No, so trimmer just basically relieves the forces off the control column. So I'll oh, show right, you okay. in the flight what the trimmer yeah, yeah, actually yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. It allows us to fly nice and straight. Flying controls. Uh, so we've done trimmer. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Cabin air controls. Cabin air controls, that's just the heater. Yeah. I'm make sure that's off. Mixture. Mixture, full and free, set fully rich. So this is essentially the fuel. Uh huh. So okay. making sure that's got fuel now. Throttle, friction. That's just here. So that's just the resistance to basically your oh, movement. that's the throttle, okay. Yes. Yeah. And then the throttle. Full and free. Yeah. And set half an inch open. Carb heat, carburetor Car heat? Carburetor or? heat. Okay. That's full and free, and then set cold. Okay. Master switch. So that's the electrics. Okay. It's on. And you'll be able to hear a, a whirling sound, and that will be the, the gyros. Uh -huh. So can you hear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the gyros spinning up. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Circuit breakers. Okay, circuit breakers and fuses. Yeah, so we've got the circuit breakers and fuses on this side just here. So just making sure they're all in. Yeah. Like for example, if this, as you know, if this were popped out like this, it's, uh, that means the fuse is wrong. popped. Yeah. So we just make sure they're all essentially in. Oh. Oh. Maybe I should have done that. That's it. That's it. Okay. Fuel selector. Fuel selector. In the left tank and right tank or what? So in this we just have it on both so it, okay. it feeds yeah, from yeah. both the tanks both. at the same time. Yeah. Primer. Primer, so the primer just basically takes the fuel from the wings and it pushes it directly into the engine. In the engine, yeah. Ah, so it's mechanical, like? That's mechanical, Okay, yeah. okay, look out. So we're gonna do a good look, look out around us. And you can open your window using the latch. That's it. Okay, in the top of your voice, I want you to shout clear prop. Clear prop! That's it. <laughs> And then I'm going to start the engine now. Ignition. Ignition starter. Yeah. So after that, I'm going to do the rest of the checks because once I start the engine, that's your time has started essentially. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'm going to, I'm going to rather you be up in the sky flying than yeah. doing the checks on the ground. Yeah. Yeah.